I'm better than my viewers number 35, or maybe some other number, I don't remember. You didn't need her anyway. Of course, a real man never says that he needs a woman. Ladies and gentlemen and kids, welcome to another episode of I'm better than my viewers, and the challenger this time is a guy called Pelican Whisperer. I have no idea there was a job like that. I'll take this rook. I mean this woman is gonna die anyway, so why not just take a rook before she dies, and who knows, maybe he'll blunder his rook and my queen can get out alive. Of course that doesn't happen. Taking this rook is fine, but I'll go for c3. The plan is to use my bishop and capture two rooks at once, or even better, if he doesn't take my queen, I can move her out of danger. He takes it. I'll take his rook then. Rook takes c1. Knight b3. Rook b1. Wow. It seems like that blunders a rook, but since my bishop is literally forking three rooks at the same time, it basically can only take one, which means it actually didn't blunder a rook. Rook b7. Preventing rook b6 totally trapping my king. And then he goes rook a6 instead. Rook takes rook takes king b5 rook a2. I'll take this rook then. Rook takes b2. Dude. This guy told me that he is 500 rated, but somehow he saw that he doesn't need to take my bishop immediately, but instead take my pawn and fork two pieces. Bishop e4. Rook b3 king c4 rook b7 bishop e7 bishop d2. The situation seems to be a draw because even though he has a lot of materials, they are just some useless same color bishops. So I guess. g4. From this point onward, I'll try to play as aggressive as possible, and who knows, maybe he'll blunder his rook. King h2. f3. Rook c1. No way I can defend that pawn. Bishop e4. Centralizing my bishop. Rook c3 king d5 rook c5 king e6 bishop g5 back to the original position. Okay. Here we go. e3. The plan is very simple. He takes my pawn, I take his bishop, and you may say that taking one of those useless bishops won't change anything at all. Well, I think you're right, but I still need to make progress. Bishop h6. Okay I guess it's two pawns for two bishops then. f4 bishop takes pawn takes bishop takes king takes. Okay I know that you guys always hate me skipping moves. But again, since there is absolutely nothing to show, we reached this position with him accidentally blundered one of bishops, and then I went, king g6. As you can see, Stockfish seems to really hate that move, it goes as far as saying that I'm blundering a checkmate in 30, but even after thinking about it for hours, I still don't know where the problem is, so if you have an explanation for this, please feel free to leave your comment below so that everyone will know about your wisdom. Rook g8 bishop takes rook king takes pawn. Draw by insufficient materials, therefore, I'm better than my viewers.